Now that we did configure the Auth0 with our Angular application, it is time to add the login button. For that, let us go to our project. So in here, I'll just go to the components. We are going to add the login button at the navigation bar and the component for the navigation bar is the nav bar. Then I'll open the HTML file and also the TypeScript file. We are going to start with the TypeScript file because in here we need to inject the authorization service. We are going to use the authorization service to trigger the user login pop-up and also to get information about the logged in user. To inject a service, we have said that inside the constructor, we are going to define a private auth0 or whatever service name you want to use. But in our case, since we want to use this service in the HTML file, we need to define it as public. So public, I'm going to name this service the underscore auth service or just underscore auth. And this is going to be the auth service. You can see that auth service does belong to auth0 and then auth0 Angular. So now that we have access to the auth0 service, let us go to the navbar.component.html and here at the bottom, we are going to add, so here after the search, we are going to add the login button. Now to add the login button, you can either add it here inside this div or you can create a separate div. I'm going to create a separate div. I'm going to create this div which has the class dflex. And then in here, I'm going to have a button which is going to have the bootstrap class btn, then btn outline primary, which is going to have the text log. Now, in front of this button, I want to also have an icon. So I'll just type in here I. And then in this icon, I'm going to have a class, which is going to be BI and then BI dash box dash arrow dash in and then right. Now, this is just a bootstrap icon. And if you want to use, you can use another one. We want this button to show up, let's say only if the user is not logged in. So for that, here on the button, you can add a condition by using the ng if. For that, I'll just type, so start then ng if, I want you to show this button if the user is not authenticated. So for that, if auth is not authenticated so if the user is not authenticated and this is an observable of boolean for that i'm just going to add it inside parentheses and then i'll just wait for this to load asynchronously so we have ng if and then auth that is authenticated now here if you want you can also add the logout button for that just select this button Paste it in here. Just add some formatting. And let's say if the user is logged in, then we want to show the logout button. So I'll just remove the icon from here. And then I'll change the BTN outline primary to BTN outline danger. Now, Another thing we need to add in here, of course, is the click event. So whenever the user clicks this button, we want to do something. So click whenever user clicks this button, then I want to use the auth service and then the login with pop up method. So login with pop up. This is a method. And whenever the user clicks on the logout button, I want to use another click so is equal to and this is going to be auth.logout. Let us save the changes and go to the app. So in here now you can see that next to the search button, we have the login button. If I click that button, I'll get this pop-up 
and you can see in here that we have of the the default application icon because we didn't replace it and then here you can either sign up for an account so you can just sign up and then you'll be able to log in or you can just log in with google account i'll just click to log in with the google account now in here i get this additional screen which says that the movies app of wants to access my profile data so it wants to have access to your profile and email i'm going to confirm it and now you can see that i was logged in because instead of having the login button down here i have the logout button and if i click this button you'll see that i am logged out and the login will show up now let us go back to the alt zero dashboard now in here if i go to the user management section and then i go to users you are going to see that in here i have the email address that i used to log in now let us go back to the code one last time and in here i'm going to modify this code so instead of having to use two ng ifs we're going to use the if else for that in here we have ng if so if this is true then we want to render this button else we want to render the logout button then in here we are going to wrap this button inside an ng template so for that i'll just type in here ng template and then i'm going to use the hashtag and then logout button let us cut the button just Control x and then paste it inside here just going to select and then tab just some formatting in here i'm going to save the changes i'll go back to the browser one last time to check if all these changes are working as expected so we can see that we have the login button i'll just click this button i'm going to log in using my google account you can see that now i get the logout button and if i click the logout i'm going to get back the login button